Hello, right. Uh, this lesson, we are going to talk about the settings you should have on your camera for if you want to use a flash indoors at a wedding or at an event. Okay, so firstly, I have a tree. Bush, plant, not really sure what it is. Went out this morning, bought it with my dear mother, took Fox along with me. I just wanted to just kind of like add a bit of greenery. Don't even know why I'm telling you this. I've changed, the, I've switched my studio around. So I've got no pictures here because I was getting lots of reflection. And I didn't like reflection, it was annoying me. I'm now sitting by closer to a window. Anyway, that's beside the by. But it is kind of important with lighting, hence flashes and stuff. So we're gonna go through the flash settings that I use. Now I know it will be completely different for everyone, but when I do a wedding or when I do an event indoors, these are kind of like my go-to settings. So we're gonna jump into the back of my camera as I've done before and I'm going to show you what they are. Okay, so this time I want you to pick up the camera and I want you to go to the, the little dial where we've been before and just put it into manual mode, okay? We've come out of auto, we've gone into AV and now we're into manual mode. Press your quick menu on the back, which we've done before. First of all, highlight your shutter speed and I want you to make that go as fast as it will go. You will need to have your flash turned on though, so make sure your flash is turned on. Get that to go as fast as it can, usually 1 1 80th, 1 200th is your max. Once you've done that, move on. F number, take that to the lowest it will go. So F2.8, F3.5, 4, um, whatever kind of lens you've got on. Then the next one will just go across to ISO and then that's one, the one that we will change most. So leave that highlighted for now because we're just going to scroll between say 200 and 800. Um, on your flash, if you've got it so it says ETTL, that's great. It's usually the first setting. So if you haven't touched anything, it's gonna be on that anyway. With your flash, make sure that it's pointing up and then a couple of clicks back when you take your pictures. Just means that you don't blind your subject and the light will bounce off the ceiling or wherever it is um, and straight back onto them and it'll create a nice soft light. Remember though, if you do then go into portrait mode, just to do the same. So angle your flash, tilt it back like so. So the only thing you're gonna to need to change is just the ISO, and that's the only thing. Everything else, they stay the same for your indoor settings, for taking pictures at a wedding or at an event, and then you're away. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an understanding of what I use. So just really, really briefly, I'm on shutter speed, as fast as my camera will go, so 1 1 80th, 1 200. F number 2.8 and then my ISO start say 400 and then go up to 800, but that's the only one that you'll play around with. So just, just again, it's all trial and error. Just have a play around with your ISOs and your different numbers, but that's my settings and that is what I use day in, day out for indoor or weddings and events. Uh, next time I think we're gonna do shutter speed. Okay, so come back for shutter speed in about a week. Thanks.